Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the Gamer 870 here. And it was a sub request. Shout out to Mr. Aaron Lundy to give you all a story about the first time I got into a fight. I try not to promote violence on the channel, though, so I did the next best thing. I'm going to tell you all about the first time that I got manhandled. <laughs> Listen up. Alright, I know you all see this massive guy sitting in his chair and you think that, okay, well, he seems to be knowledgeable about sports. Maybe he wasn't a pushover. Well, um, I haven't always been this size. Uh, very first time I was manhandled. To, to figure to, to learn this story we have, we're going to have to go all the way back to back in kindergarten kindergarten I had the privilege of being in Miss Singleton's class Miss Singleton was one of the best teachers ever like she had an opportunity she had the ability to teach wherever you were and grow you and she just was really dynamic at what she did right but this story takes place at the end of the school year, towards the end of the school year. Um, I don't know if you all have ever experienced it, but we had what was quote unquote called a fun day at my school when I was in kindergarten, right? Fun day was first of all, was one of the most genius ideas ever for a school because especially coming from the mindset of an educator because when you are doing a fun day you really don't have anything else to look forward to as a student right so you're really just focusing on earning tickets and tokens or whatever the currency is for fun day to earn those things you have to do certain behavioral things like finish your work be quiet at certain times be good at certain times etc well, um, fun day came and everybody was excited, right? Everybody was excited. Well, fun day hit differently for me. Fun day was off the chain. Um, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. It started out, um, Miss Singleton's best friend, they shared a closet, Miss Dawson. They shared a closet and they used to meet in the closet and you know, discuss certain things and come out and do different things with us, whatever the case was. Well, um, Miss Singleton, had, I think she had some snacks. I know she had some snacks or something in the closet. And she went into the closet and a huge closet. Don't, don't think it's just something small. It was big enough to reach the other side of the building because that's where the other teacher's room was. But, um, Miss Singleton went into the closet and was looking for something. And during this time of Miss Singleton being in the closet, um, there were there was one young lady who stood up and just in the middle of class, and she was like, "Hey, me and my friend like you. Which one of us you want to go with?" I ain't really knowing. I ain't really liking girls for real. For real. I'm in kindergarten, right? But it felt great to have an option to have a quote unquote girlfriend and I didn't even do anything for it. It was like, hey, they like me. Great, right? So that was one thing. Uh, then the second thing was, I don't know if you all are familiar with it, right? But we used to play this game called Killer Man. Some of, some of you all call it throwback too, where you, you grab a football and you throw it back and somebody catches it and everybody that's playing is trying to tackle the person with the ball, right? When the person that's tackling, when the person with the ball gets tackled or scores a touchdown, they have to throw the ball back. Um, well, I had a really good day in throwback, right? 
Um, I remember it. I was I was doing okay. I was I was doing all right. I was I was scoring touchdowns that day. We used to play it differently. Like a lot of people play with footballs. We used to grab whatever was in the field to play uh, throwback or killer man or whatever you want to call it. We used to grab whatever in the field. And I remember specifically that day we had, um, I think it was a plastic bottle, I want to say. I want to say it was a plastic bottle. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But anyway, so we were playing throwback and, you know, I was scoring touchdowns and enjoying the day, just having fun, right? Well... That was the second highlight of, you know, throwback. I mean, of a fun day. Well, the actual festivities are about to hit now, right? Actual festivities are about to hit. And when we were playing throwback earlier, it was during recess, and it was just strictly the boys out there. And so when we went outside for um, fun day, you know, they had different booths and things set up. But at the end of the day, once you run out of tickets or, or tokens or whatever, Gotta find something to play for free. Throwback. Throwback is always free. So we were playing throwback again. This time everybody was included. We were just having a whole lot of fun, right? So um, I'm doing my thing again. I remember I was uh, 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 doing all kind of craziness, right? So I'm scoring, acting the fool, sweating through my clothes, stanking it up, whatever the case may be. Um, but throwback kind of got out of hand a little bit, you know, because. People that started tackling that ain't even had a ball. It was like crazy. It was getting a little wild. So I want to alert now because I'm like, okay, they tripping. So I got to make sure that I don't get tackled just unexpectedly. So I, I, I remember this vividly. Um, somebody threw the ball back. And somebody beside me caught the ball. And I'm about to go and try to tackle who got the ball. Next thing I know, I, oop, I got stuck, right? I got hit pretty good. And so I'm mad at this point, right? So I'm finna get up and I'm finna do something. And I never forget it. I was pinned to the ground. I couldn't move. And I'm moving, jerking, fighting, trying to get away because I'm getting mad that I can't move. <sighs> she didn't have to do me like that, right? She did not have to hold me so I couldn't move like I, I I felt powerless you know it was it just it it, it it hurt my feelings a little bit right because this was the same girl who just said she had a crush on me now you pinning me down in front of all my friends and I can't move because you're stronger than me I felt some kind of way about that I felt some kind of way about that. The story gets worse. The story gets worse, right? That was the first time I was I was manhandled. But I actually saw her like three, four years ago, right? And model looking woman, right? She's gorgeous. And all I could think about was you pinned me like you, you you were stronger than me in kindergarten like I can't believe you did that in front of everybody I was I was still in my feelings right all these years later so the first time I was manhandled was during a game of throwback by a classmate of mine who hours prior stood up in front of the class and confessed that she had a crush on me only to pin me down to the ground. And I guess that was her way of telling me, I mean, of showing me, hey, I like you. But I was embarrassed because I'm like, really? You you go do me like this in front of everybody? Like, I was feeling some kind of way. So this was the first time I was manhandled. Um, yeah, first time I was manhandled. My... There, my fights usually aren't good. Like they, they aren't really that good. They, anyway, um, 
I've lost one fight. I can admit that. I, I have lost one fight. He, I was in elementary school then as well. But other than that, I, I wasn't taking L's. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's about it, though. That, that's the time I was manhandled by another human being. Just made me feel just just so powerless and I just yeah that's that that's that so I hope you enjoyed the content um, if you did like the content like the video like seriously hit the like button like you, you can do that for me can't you hit the like button don't forget to share and subscribe um, yeah more content is coming your way for those of you who have been noticing that I have not been streaming as much here's an update on that I contacted my internet service provider and they have they have acknowledged that there's something something is wrong with my service right it's not doing what it should be doing so they're going to send out a technician on Thursday to fix my internet service so hopefully things will be a lot better so I can provide quality content for you in the near future but yeah that's where we are with that so I'll continue to do what I can throughout and I'm just gonna make it work but with no further ado don't forget to like share and subscribe tell your friends about it let's grow the channel people we we're on a road for 600. I, I have been complacent for too long. I think I've been at 536 um, for some weeks now. For some weeks now. It's time to grow. Time to grow. I'm ready to do another giveaway. I need I need some people to get us to 600. Can it be you? Will it be you? Huh? You, 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 you. Let's, let's, let's move. Let's move. All right. With no further ado, peace.